What up, what up, what up, it's your boy Mr. Vaughn, Mr. Vaughn Channel, Sweatbox, we back, we live, we active here on the channel, yes indeed, you know how we do, still dodging those digital jabs, baby, let's talk Rick and Morty, season 6, episode 4, Night Family, man, this show is stupid, and I mean that in the best way possible, with all positive praise, this show is ridiculous, so basically the episode was about, Rick has this device that makes it so when you're asleep your unconscious self will get up and just do stuff whatever you need done your unconscious self will do it while you still sleep and get the results of it whatever so rick has it doing it rick has his night self doing crunches so he can get the six-pack abs and morty does too uh, that whole thing was ridiculous this is the good morty <laughs> Spoiler alert, by the way, I always got to say it because I always forget to say it at the beginning of the video. Spoiler alert. When my guy Morty said, yeah, you guys want to see something? And he pulled out the bowl ball and it looked like he was about to pull out his dick, bro. I was like, <laughs> don't you do it, Morty. I don't care. <coughs> I don't care how good your abs are. Don't nobody want to see your dick, bro. <laughs> but then... <laughs> He had Summer drop the bowling ball on his on his on his abs, bro. He shot it back up. I was like, "You guys is doing the most. You guys is doing the most." So man, this was so stupid. So the whole main plot of it though was, and this is how stupid it was. Uh, I think Summer's job was to do the dishes. I think Night Summer's job was to do the dishes. So then, none of the fam, none of the day family was cleaning their dishes. They was none of they were scraping their plates. So Night Summer, and here's the, here's the funny part because. The whole family got the night version of themselves. Beth learned to play the trumpet. Summer also learned to speak French, I think it was. French or Spanish. Um, forget the car alarm. I live in the city. What do you want? Um, Jerry just started writing, just became friends with his night self. And they started writing each other pen pal letters, which was ridiculous. But that comes back to the story because night Jerry ends up being their ally when the night family turns on him. All because... Rick didn't want to wash his dishes, <laughs> so <laughs> Night Summer gives Jerry a message to give the regular family, say, hey, can you guys, you guys mind rinsing your dishes? It'll take a couple seconds and it'll save us a lot of, this nigga Rick loses it. He's like, it is not our job to make their job easier. Takes the ketchup and pours it all over the table. Screw them. So then the next night, why does the night family break all the dishes? Breaks them and just leaves them in a pile. It was on some Honda. The whole theme of this was like a horror movie stuff. It was ridiculous, but it was very funny. Well, this nigga Rick goes into a ship, goes into outer space to some forbidden dimension that was like four Marmadukes away from the... <laughs> this show's so stupid. This dude got the aliens to make some indestructible dishes. <laughs> Brought them back, dumped them on the lot of here. We'll eat off of these. <laughs> The level of petty that you're going to go all the way out to space, get an alien race to create some indestructible dishes just so you ain't got to watch the dishes. <laughs> just so you ain't got to compromise to yourself. <laughs> Rick is the worst. Okay? It's the worst. So then after that, the Knight family holds Rick hostage and just like scrapes food into his mouth. <laughs> It was so funny, bro. Oh, anyway, make a long story short. The Knight family ends up going to war with the Day family. And the fight scene that breaks out is so stupid. Because every time one of them is unconscious, <laughs> they go back to the Knight self. But then they wake up. And it was so, so. But first of all, <laughs> once, he, once Rick realized it was Summer that was controlling it, he sends Summer undercover in this suit to keep her awake. The other night family's like, why are you wearing that? She's like, don't worry about it. Don't, you don't know question about it. They're like, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> this show's stupid. This show's stupid. So, yeah, so Night Summer's in there undercover with this big garbage bag suit on it. And, and the night version of Rick locked him out of his lab so he didn't have none of his tech. So he's just building stuff from scrap. He made this force field where you got to lick some dirty eggs. It was the, It was so... I hate this show so much, but it's the funniest thing on television, bro. 
But when they was fighting, because <laughs> Night Jerry was undercover and he was on the family side. So when they start fighting, and <laughs> they start punching Night Jerry. And Night Jerry was like, I'm on your side. I'm on your side. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we forgot my bad. <laughs> but when, <laughs> when Rick first found out about Night Jerry being on their side, he slapped him anyway. <laughs> Man, this episode was so stupid, bro. And their neighbor, their neighbor just gets no respect. They dis disrespect him all the time. This nigga's out there trying to water his flowers. They literally skid the car over. <laughs> He's over his flowers, just destroyed his whole flower bed. He's like, why don't I even try? <laughs> Poor Gene. I think his name is Gene. <laughs> He's the, I know he's like the Smiths are the worst neighbors ever. Oh my goodness! Oh, it was so. So in the end, the Knight family wins basically, <laughs> all because Rick refused to swap. Because they had it like, look, it ain't gotta be like this, Rick. We could come to a compromise. Just rinse the dishes. Rick was like, next thing you see, you just sees the whole Knight family just living life. They're just, they run the world now. They're. <laughs> They run the Rick family. And why did they show them going through? And they was getting rid of all the movies that had the word day in it. <laughs> the movie they kept was Talladega Nights. <laughs> oh, it's, this is so stupid. And then they realized, oh, man. The post credit scene was them realizing, oh, we can't afford all this. All the stuff's getting repoed because they didn't go to work. They was just living their best life, going on vacations and stuff. Everything gets repoed. They ain't got no money. Summer gets locked out of her Twitter account. So <laughs> they're like, there's a solution for this. Rick comes in with a solution. And he goes and he shoots the machine. <laughs> so then the normal family wakes up. They're like, how long were we out for? He looks at this like, oh, no, they canceled the Choco Taco. <laughs> I hate this show so much, but it's the funniest show on television. I just can't stop laughing at this show. I mean, man. <laughs> and the horror elements that they put into this episode were great. The horror elements were great. It was so like the first scene when Beth goes in and she can't sleep. And she's doing the Count Sheep app game. was was ridiculous. <laughs> and Rick just wakes up. Dude, that was a legitimately creepy scene. Oh, my goodness. And then um, Morty and... <laughs> Morty and Rick's podcast <laughs> about abs was so stupid. Oh, I'm so glad they were gonna get Nancy Pelosi on the on the on the podcast. <laughs> but the bitterness of Rick just not wanting to do the dishes, it was so hilarious. Between that and them fighting Night Jerry and forgetting he was on their team, man, this episode was great. It was great. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Thumbs up. This episode, let's be clear. I know this show can almost really do no wrong for me because this there's no. I'm I'm so in tune with the type of humor and that's just that's just up my alley. The type of humor this show delivers is is totally what I love, and it's just hilarious. So that's my review of episode uh, four for season six, Rick and Morty. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, click those notifications so you know when I upload. Check out the travel vlogs, man. Las Vegas was cracking. And if you guys also know, you know what I'm saying, just to you know what I'm saying, Sweatbox Travel has a page on Instagram. Follow me on there. It's a lot of cool content that you're not really going to find on the uh, on the YouTube Travel channel. And there's a little some that you will. But I still got some more Vegas vlogs coming. My trip to Area 15 was Benini's. Uh, and we got some more stuff coming. So just make sure you lock to the channel, man. You keep it locked. We always got something active going on over here. Until next time, you know how we do. Peace. 100, y'all. I'm a girl, to the ends with you, I'm a girl.